Hello, Susanna here. You probably can hear me okay. I'm in a Spanish cafe in Santiago de Compostela, about to go to the cinema actually, which should be cool. Thankfully an English speaking cinema because I'm not quite great at Spanish yet. Um, just working on the business. Uh, if you saw the number of cups of tea <laughs> that, that I've had today, it's been great. And uh, you know that chocolate, the chocolate and churros? Well, I just had the chocolate and the spoon stood up in it. So here we're talking about KPIs. Now, now I'm on a lovely tour around Spain, but I did pledge to myself and to my finance director that I do um, a small number of hours. Uh, so we've just taken a day to chill today. We're off to cinema and then go to a jazz club later on. But I've been working on KPIs. So it's that classic thing of instead of working in your business, you know when everything's like just hitting your head, it's about working on, on your business. So rather than working on my business in Bristol, I worked on my business in Spain, listening to, uh, well earlier it was Aretha Franklin and James Brown and Erica Badu, who's one of my favourite singers of All In and looking at things like um, uh, repairs as a percentage of rent roll being less than 10%, looking at days void, I want a 2% day void limit, so figuring out both the cost of day vo days void and also the um, number of days void per month kind of allowable. Um, that was in the portfolio. Looking at things like, um, oh, last year we just measured how many repairs outstanding every month and we got it down to five. Well, this year we're going to measure, but, but what we should have measured was also the cost of repairs. Now, traditionally, a landlord will spend 10% on repairs. Um, I didn't make that as visible as need be for the team, so guess what? You can hardly say they overspent because it wasn't visible for them, but in my head they overspent. They, we spent 15% of the portfolio rent on repairs instead of 10. So this year changing that KPI to make it more visible. So just really drinking tea, drinking hot chocolate, eating cake, uh, I'm working with the iPad, there you go. Um, on on there you are on repairs uh, sorry on the KPIs thinking through the overview of the business rather than kind of thinking oh my goodness that tenants moved out and they've left the paintwork patchy and you know we've got so many days to get them to fix it and when you're running a portfolio the more you it, it is that cliche what you measure you manage so for me, we didn't manage the cost of repairs last year. We made an, a bit of an assumption and we didn't make it as visible as we should have done, whereas this year we are. So I'm handing over the responsibility of the cost of repairs away from me to head of lettings. So just working on the business to look at the kind of structure of what the business should be, but in very, very lovely surroundings. I can highly recommend it. Okay, so at the beginning, you're probably not gonna know kind of what the structure of your business will be but I'm in I'm just heading into my 10th year actually in property so now I'm fairly sure what the structure of business be and when I look back at either the elements of friction or like for for example last year I was a bit like oh my guys just keep asking me for money for repairs well all I needed to do was make the cost of repairs visible to them it'd have been a lot easier to them to make a decision so look back at what you measured already what was a frustration for you what you could improve um, the way we do the KPI as I sit down with our finance director and I work out our budget with our finance director, both our income expected budget and then also our expenditure budget. And some of those financial estimates go into the KPIs, but then we also work out the human stuff, you know, how many days void are we going to allow ourselves a, a month, you know, how many people in the mentoring program um, do we want to work with, you know, all those lovely human things of people doing good work. So it's a combination of finance but also doing stuff and over time you'll refine it. But if you don't know at the beginning, just look for some key measurements. I'd suggest to you, hey, hey more coffee. I'd suggest 10% of rent roll is to be set aside for repairs. I'd suggest, well, I think people look at 10% void rate. I'm not. I refuse to have that. I want a 2% max void rate and even then I've worked out how much money it'll cost me because that's in the KPI and I don't really want that because that's an awful lot of holidays. So ask around or phone me up or get involved in some of my conference calls and we can talk about what you might call is the norm and then try and see if you can beat the norm. So first, put a structure and then try and improve it. Right, we're off to an art gallery, a cinema, and then a jazz club. Seems um, my KPI work is done today. See you soon, bye.